So what I'd like you to do is come up, get a tennis ball, and one of these, uh, I guess we're going to do it in groups of five, so we'll number you off. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, John. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Now it would be five as well. So we have even groups of three. And what we're going to do is using the expressions in the previous question, I want you to create your own geometric series problem. You can hold the tennis ball in one hand, with your palm down, just as I was doing, extend straight out from your shoulder, and one or two, both of your partners are going to help measure the distance from the bottom of the ball to the floor so that uh, you have your, your starting distance in the first term, right? And what I want you to do is determine the common ratio. So if you, some of these tennis balls are a little older, some of them are newer, but I want you to just kind of take a look and eyeball it. If I drop this ball down, can everyone see this okay? How far up do you think that bounced that first time? What, what do you think the, the ratio, if we're looking at the percentage of the original height? Any ideas? Yeah. Want to watch again? Adam, what do you think? 40 to 50. 40 to 50? I was thinking about 40. Uh, but just kind of eyeball that in your groups. Uh, get an idea. And again, we're going to do the same. Uh, we're going to find the total distance the ball has traveled for all members of your group. We're going to do five bounces again, the same as the previous one, just to sort of solidify that, uh, that uh, concept. And I want you to have the individual totals for each group member because I'm going to put it in a graph after. And I also want you to drop, uh, I, I want you to get a grand total so we can see uh, whose ball traveled the longest, I guess, in the group of three that you had. Okay? So um, I guess someone from group one, two, three, four, and five come up and grab one of these. We'll sit at the different tables. Group one will be here. Two, three, four, five will be over here at this table. Okay? I don't know who's in one group, but I've got a number two right now. Okay. Well, just one more thing to add. You can use whatever units you like. Just make sure that the units stay consistent. Okay? Some of the some of the uh, measuring tapes are a little different. They're not necessarily. Uh, Remember that you want to extend your arm straight out. And then measure from the bottom of the ball to the floor. Okay. Okay. One, three, four. Uh, yeah. So is that straight up when you're
Parallax. You know when you're sitting in the passenger seat and you look over at the speedometer and it looks like you're going to see because the needle has some distance out from the screen? That kind of air. Would it like select something you think, like a hand Uh, I'll give it okay. Did you make sure that you don't know the word? Yeah. Can I see your hand? Yeah. 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 Yeah.